SpaceX has made history with the arrival at the International Space Station, many firsts here. It's the first private spacecraft to put Americans into the Earth's orbit. It's also the first aircraft flown by NASA astronauts in nearly a decade. Here's a report. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. SpaceX founder Elon Musk must have been a nervous man. He was at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. US President Donald Trump was there too. The privately built SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket stood upright, ready for launch after two delays due to bad weather. Come the time of reckoning, 3.22 Eastern Daylight Time on May 30th, the first commercially designed and built spacecraft took off in triumph. Elon Musk was overjoyed. After a 19-hour journey and a tense automatic docking sequence, the capsule attached itself to the International Space Station. As the portal opened, the two NASA astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, were welcomed by the station's crew. This screwed mission has created history. It's the first time a commercially developed spacecraft has put Americans in space. For all these years, space was the hegemony of NASA in the US. Now, Earth's orbit has welcomed a private player in SpaceX. Also, it is the first space flight with NASA astronauts that took off from US soil in nine years. Since 2011, NASA astronauts have had to hitch rides into orbit on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. Naturally, the US president was all praises for the successful all-American mission. We have created the envy of the world and will soon be landing on Mars and will soon have the greatest weapons ever imagined in history. I've already seen designs and even I can't believe it. The United States has regained our place of prestige as the world leader. As has often been stated, you can't be number one on Earth if you are number two in space. The last time NASA launched astronauts into space aboard a brand new vehicle was 40 years ago. That was at the start of the space shuttle program. For Musk, the launch represents another milestone. It is the first time a reusable rocket has been deployed for a space mission. It makes space flight less costly and more frequent and could pave the way for civilians to hop a ride into space. For now, the two NASA astronauts have begun their months-long stay in the orbital laboratory. We sure appreciate that, sir. It's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this. Uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course, NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. Bureau Report, we on World is One.